how do you contact people in a way that gets them to want to hire you? What exactly do you say? I've gotten plenty of emails from speakers who say that they've contacted several people about getting hired, but they don't really know exactly how to go about it. What exactly do they say? Are they doing it right because they've contacted people, but they don't necessarily respond all that well? So how do you do it? How you contact people is just as important as what you say. I notice a lot of speakers that when they're in the startup phase, they expect to speak on stages of 300, 500 people in a corporate crowd, even though they have absolutely no video footage, their website is horrible, they expect these big time meeting planners to bring them in as a speaker. Just because you are a great speaker doesn't necessarily mean that they know that. It really depends on your situation. So are you technically like a startup? Are you just beginning your speaking career? Uh, and when I say beginning, I mean, do you have video footage or not? If you don't have video footage, you're beginning. Uh, it doesn't matter if you've been speaking for 20 years. If you don't have video footage, if you don't have a great website, you are just beginning to them. To you, you might have been in it for 20, 50, 100 years, but to them, you're just starting out because they don't really know anything about you and there's no way they can find out anything about you. So where are you in, in your speaking career? If you're starting and you don't have video footage and you don't have all the extra stuff, the reviews, none of that stuff, if you're just starting, you have to contact just normal people. You have to contact people with meetup groups, uh, small associations. You have to contact smaller groups. Think about it. I mean, a meeting planner at, at a corporate company, uh, a corporate event, they're not going to bring you in to speak at 300 people at an event with 300 people because you aren't proven. So they can't see any videos of you, none of that stuff. So you have to start contacting people depending on where you are as a speaker. If you're just starting, you got to contact small. If you have video footage, you start essentially building up. So once you get video footage, now you contact a better quality of client. Once you get more video footage, oh, a better quality. And you just build up little by little. Some speakers wonder why they don't get a response when they contact people. I mean, they, they follow these systems. They're like, oh, I said this. I said exactly how you said. The problem is when I go to their website, if they have a website, when I go to it, it's like, eh, it doesn't really look all that good. What do you say? I mean, okay, you contact, what do you say? Well, first off, you want to talk about the experience, and this really depends on you as a speaker. I personally talk about how interactive it is, how the, the mind reading, all that stuff, how different it is. If I was funny, I'd talk about how funny the presentation is. So talk about the experience that you provide, the experience that you give, and then whatever you say, you have to provide proof. If you say that you are a funny speaker, that you give a great presentation, where's the proof? That's what you have to think about. Where's the proof? And who else have you done it for? So have you done it for Remax, AAA, Affleck? Have, who else have you done it for? When you send an email or when you call me up on a phone and you say like, hey, my name is Benji Bruce. I'm this awesome, amazing speaker. My presentation is hilarious, all this stuff. You're talking about the experience and, and everything. Now you kind of want to name drop. You want to say, look, Companies like Aflac, AAA, Hertz, Avis, they've hired me to, to do this as well, and I want to do it for your company. So name drop a little bit. Then not only do you want to name drop, but once again, provide proof because anyone can name drop. Anyone can say, oh, they did it for Remax, but do they have video footage of it? Do they have a testimonial? So don't just name drop, but on your website, it should actually have proof of what it is you're saying. Just always think, whatever claim you make, you have to provide proof that it's real. And really, the way you contact, it's not a matter, I mean, let me tell you this. I've gotten several emails from speakers who say, ah, oh, Benji, I've contacted a few people and contacted about 100 people, but nobody really responds. I mean, nobody's really gotten back to me. That's just crazy to me. You should be contacting more than, you should be contacting 100 every single day, minimum. I mean, you should just be contacting people nonstop, all day, every day. When you are starting, when you don't have video footage, you don't have the testimonials, you don't have the, the reviews, you don't have any of that stuff, a great website, nothing. When you're just starting, the amount of people you contact 
It's ridiculous. You got to contact so many, it's not even funny. Only one of them's going to respond. Out of like a thousand people, one of them's going to really be interested. That's what happens. That's just how it works. Eventually, once you get video footage and, and everything else, and you have a great website, all the other stuff, now it's a lot easier. Now you only need to contact 20 people before someone says, yeah, we're interested. But in the beginning, it's going to be like 20 million before someone's interested. So how do you contact people? You have to pay attention to the how, meaning are you in the startup? Or are you, do you actually have video footage and all that? If you're in the startup, then you got to contact smaller events. If you have the video footage and everything, now you can contact the bigger events. And then what do you say? Well, in the email or on the phone, you talk about the experience you provide, back it up with proof, name drop a little bit, back it up with proof. That's how you do it.